So with this video, I wanted to cover going from the USF North Tampa area down to downtown and the Hyde Park. So I'm on 275 southbound and approaching Hillsborough Avenue. Hillsborough Avenue, of course, is a major east-west road in Tampa. Part of it is US 92. Um, to the west, it goes to Town and & Country and Oldsmar and uh, Palm Harbor. And to the east, it goes towards Plant City and Lakeland. So here is Martin Luther King. To the right, you can um, take this and go to Boulevard and take Boulevard down to go to Armature Works. I like to take that route a lot of times. Also, it goes towards St. Joseph's Hospital and the stadium, Florabraska, which is this exit here. Also, it goes over to Armature Works. And this is the I-4 exit heading towards Orlando, and it frequently gets backed up because there's only one exit lane at this time. Of course, they are planning to expand that. Here I got off on the downtown exits ramp off 275. And there's a east downtown exit, which is Jefferson Street. And there's a west downtown exit, which is Ashley Street and also Tampa Street. And there's also um, Doyle Carlton which would be the exit for Waterworks Park, which is of course nearby Armature Works. Waterworks Park of course has Eulalie Springs and the Eulalie Restaurant. So the river is just to the right here and the river walk and Doyle Carlton is the, the road right by the river at this point. So what we're on now is an off ramp that goes to Ashley Street if you were to go straight ahead, but going to the left here, this is Tampa Street. Tampa Street goes more into the heart of downtown and also towards the convention center and a lot of the parking garages or the arena as well. Ashley Street, on the other hand, would be for going to Curtis Hickson Park or the Tampa Museum of Art. So I'm turning on Cass Street here and crossing Ashley Street. So this is the stuff that you would um, take Ashley Street to get to, actually. So you have the Performing Arts Center on the right, and you have the Curtis Hickson Park on the left, and the Riverwalk also um, crosses street level, Cass Street right there, crossing the Hillsborough River, and to the left is the University of Tampa, to the right is a preparatory school as well as the Julian Lane Park, which was recently renovated. Here's Boulevard. And Boulevard is that road that I was talking about taking Martin Luther King and turning left on Boulevard, going south, and you can come down to this area as well. Uh, Boulevard also cuts through the University of Tampa and down to Swan Avenue, which is the main east-west road through Hyde Park Village. And here we're continuing on Cass, and this is Willow Avenue, which also goes down to Swan Avenue toward Hyde Park Village. One thing I don't like about Willow is there's an intersection with the Selman Expressway, which is great if you're getting on the expressway, but it's, it's just a longer um, streetlight cycle because of all that. So I'm going to Rome Avenue and making a left on Rome. 
And this is kind of a main street for the North Hyde Park area. It's a relatively new area. It was developed um, with the first condo about 10 years or so ago. And then there was a kind of a delay. And then all of a sudden about three or four years ago, a lot of new condos started opening up and a few little restaurants here and there. So the area is changing pretty rapidly. Uh, they recently reconstructed Rome Avenue for about five blocks. And so it's a lot nicer and pedestrian friendly. And it's starting to get a lot more shops and restaurants. And uh, it's very popular with young people, uh, 20s, 30s. So I crossed over Kennedy Boulevard, which is, of course, a major east-west road in Tampa between the Bay and downtown and um, I turned right on Cleveland Avenue and left on Fremont and I'm going to um, you know, just cross over Platt Street which is a one-way street heading from the Soho district area to downtown and it's Soho because it's South Howard. And it just conveniently sounds cool. But anyway, um, just heading down to Swan Avenue. This is just one of several ways to get from USF down to the Hyde Park Village area. I just like this option. So here's Swan Avenue. There's no interchange or intersection with the expressway. Just go right under it, no problem. Just watch out for traffic getting on Swan Avenue, of course. And here we are in Hyde Park Village. So there are a lot of parking garages over stores and, and restaurants and such um, as you can see one to the right and after going through the light you'll see another parking garage this light here is the main thoroughfare through Hyde Park Village all right well that includes this little trip And it's free parking, so that's great. Have a great day. God bless.